Guys, today we're going to talk about how you can tell an NFT project is going to succeed or fail simply by looking at its Twitter account. There are three ways. But more about that after this intro. Shh! What's happening, NFT fam? Hope everybody's having a good day. I wanted to make a quick video today on... How do you tell if a project is going to be crap when it launches versus if it's going to be pretty good based solely on the Twitter account, right? What are the signs that you look for? What are the metrics that you have to look for? So let me give you an example of what I'm talking about here. Um, today, this morning, a project called Memes launched, and it did very well right off the bat. It had a strong floor price. Uh, here's what happened here. It minted for 0 0.08, had a strong floor price. It was immediately 0.21, and it shot all the way up to 0.355, and now it's holding strong at around 0.25, right? So this is something that's good. You could have done a flip here. When projects are strong like this, you could buy it at 0.2, sell it at that 0.35, and you'd make two, 300 bucks, and if you buy a couple of those, you could make $1,000. Very easy, right? And uh, for the long term, I don't know what this is going to do, but right now the floor price is holding up pretty well. How do you know that a, a project is going to do this versus, uh, well, first of all, look at the, 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 the Twitter is 63,000 versus what Gummy Gangs did. Gummy Gangs is um, 100,000 followers, right? Just by looking at this, how do you, does it, do you think this is gonna do well or not? Here's what Gummy Gangs did. Um, Gummy Gangs launched several weeks ago, so it's, it's really zoomed out here, so I just took a screenshot and zoomed in. Gummy Gangs, it minted for point zero, around 0.08, it's 0 0.088, I think. And when it launched and hit OpenSea, it was only 0.1. And then it shot up, when I say shot up, it barely rose up to 0.14, and then it just plummeted. It plummeted, 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 and it just kept going down, below mint price. Now it's below the mint price. You couldn't have made any money on this. You, If you would have bought at 0.1, you would have sold at 0.14, you still would have lost on gas. So how do you tell and if you minted, you would still lose money because now it's 0 0.05. So how do you tell if something is going to do a gummy gangs kind of a thing where it just flops or if it's going to do a, a memes kind of a thing where it rocks uh, right out of the gate, right? Uh, we don't know what it's going to do long term, but, um, but Twitter can tell you what it's going to do in the short term right off the bat. There's three signs that you want to look for, and it's not strictly follower count. Um, follower count actually is not really that important and it's this number one the first thing you want to look for is what type of engagement do you have so you want to go to a post to look to, to to assess engagement you want to go to a post that's not asking for likes and retweets it's just the it's just the standard post like this you know good morning to all humans and future memes collectors just click on that and go go down their comments to see how excited people are look at this Excited for the hype. Look at, I also have a cool collection. This person's taking pictures of their own memes collection. Uh, you know, artwork here, can't wait. Look at this person uh, uh, posting pictures of their own their own memes. Um, you know, when's mint? You know, I have 0.1 ETH now, I still can't enter. P people are all trying to get into this project. People are excited about it. <coughs> and then you compare that to Gummies Gang. And you, you want to go to, like I said, you want to go to a standard post that is not asking for likes and retweets. Like this one right here. I found this little Gummies Gang oh, um, fella, and I just had to get it. Yeah, let's, let's find one that's just Gummies Gang posting. Retweeting. Retweeting. Mm, let me scroll down a little more. I want, and I want to go down back before they actually mint, because they minted on April 9th. 24 hours till mint. Let's go to, oop, here's one. That's a retweet. Look at all these retweets. Let's just go to one where they're just posting. They're just, they're just tweeting on their own. I'm going to talk about the retweets here in a little bit. Okay, dippies, come on. Let's just go to a standard post from them. Here we go. All right, standard post. Let's see what people say. Good morning, good morning, cute, morning. Look at this, it's just good morning. Do the fans here sound that dedicated to Gummies Gang? No, they don't. <clears throat> so look at the engagement there. 
That's number one. Number two is a little more um, more of a metric and, and less uh, uh, subjective. Look to see how frequently the project is begging for followers. Look at Gummies Gang as we were just going through this. Look at how many how many times they ask for likes and retweets. Follow, like, retweet. Let's go up. Another one. Um, if you just go through seven days of posting, you'll see that it's just a lot of follow, like, and retweet. Follow, like, retweet. April 2nd. Let's see if April 3rd. April 2nd. Like and retweet this. Right? They, it's, just, it's just constantly. Follow, like, retweet. Follow, like, retweet. And when a, when, a, when a project is doing that, that means they're more focused on trying to um, grow their own following. <clears throat> Maybe they're more interested in the money than they are in actually trying to give value to the community, trying to build a strong community. If you go to memes, they don't do that. If I scroll down, a lot of it is just information. Like, look at this. This is just good morning. Scrolling down. Here's our raffle. Scrolling down. Good morning. Scrolling down. It's just, you know, it's just they're just posting their art. And they're posting uh, funny, funny memes, funny, funny art. Um, they're just trying to engage with their community. They're more interested in just engaging in their community, giving information, than um, begging for followers and begging for retweets. It's just a way better vibe with this one because they're not they're not always asking for hey, 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 follow us, follow us, retweet this, get the word out. They're more focused on their followers. So you when you want to make sure the project is is more uh, uh, community oriented, like memes, than they are in Gummy, Gummies Gang. All right, and the final thing to look for um, is to actually look at the hard numbers, look at the hard metrics. So what I mean by that is um, I, I took, you know, I went, I went to this one, for example. You wanna, you wanna find a tweet from the project that is not asking for likes or retweets, and you wanna count up the likes. This is 1119. You want to count up the number of retweets, 221. Count up the number of comments. And you want to get it, you want to divide that by the number of followers to see what percentage it is of the followers. And uh, so that one was 1119. And it was, it, this is the memes NFT for April 18th. And I just counted up the likes, retweets, comments, 1119, 221. 449, if you divide each of these by the 63,000, you get this number here, 1.78, 0.35, 0 0.71. So I did that for 18th, I did that for the 17th, I did that for the 16th, and then I averaged those all out right here. And then I did the same thing for Gummies Gang. And let me show you uh, Gummies Gang April 3rd. Um, is there an April 3rd one that I can find? Yeah, so I did it for, for example, um, April 3rd. And, and, and you want to do it for... You want to do it for something like this one, where the where they're 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 tweeting, and it's an independent tweet. You want the tweet to stand on its own. You don't want to you don't want to go to one that's asking for likes, comments, and retweets like this one, because look how high it is. Look at the likes, seven thousand. Retweets, comments, six thousand. The reason why is because this guy's asking for likes and retweets and comments, and they're it, it, these are inflated artificial numbers that don't give you a true. Um, understanding of how uh, engaged people actually are. Look at, when people are asking for likes and comments and retweets, the numbers are very high. You wanna go to one that's more like this, where see, it's 360 likes, 107 retweets, 29 comments, where they're just they're just posting. Um, there's nothing in it for, for the people who are liking it, retweeting or commenting. They just do it because they, they, they like the art or they, they feel they're vibing with the community. So, and then you average all of these out and you wanna do this. <clears throat> Uh, about one or two weeks before the mint date, right? If you do it too far in advance of the mint date, well, then you're not getting an apples to apples comparison um, because the community is not as is basically um, um, you want to compare the the excitement should be the the greatest prior to the mint date, close to the mint date, and so you want to compare projects at a, at about the same timeline. And just looking at it, look at look at uh, memes compared to gummy gangs. Memes gets the likes of 1.62% compared to Gummy Gangs, which is 0.42%. Memes is 0.3% for retweets. Gummy Gangs is 0.14% for retweets. Memes is 036 for retweets. Gummies, Gummies Gang is 0.05% for retweets. So you can just see that the the numbers are so much higher in memes than they are in Gummies Gang. So this is, this is just looking at hard numbers, something that you wanna use as a guideline. So I would say, if I'm looking at projects, I would want to get, I want, I would want the likes to be 
at least one and a half percent. I'd want the retweets and comments to be closer to 0.3%. Um, these, these are just hard numbers that you can use, kind of a rule of thumb that you can use um, to see how engaged uh, the community is to the NFT. And that can give you a, 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 um, uh, a kind of a, a prediction for how well the project is gonna do right off the bat. People are excited about memes when it's launching. People were not that excited about Gummies Gangs despite having 100,000 followers. So you gotta really kind of dig into it, look into those numbers to get that feel. So again, guys, uh, the three top things you wanna look for are, uh, you wanna look at a post to see how engaged people are, look at the comments. You wanna make sure the project is not constantly asking for likes, comments, and retweets. That's a bad sign that they're more interested in growing, they're more interested in money than they are about the community. And then point number three, you wanna look at these hard metrics, likes, retweets, comments, and you wanna get the numbers kinda of close to what we're showing here. 1.5% for likes, 0.3% for retweets, 0.3% for comments, and you're golden, right? You can buy into that right when it launches, you can mint it, you try to flip it for some money, and this, this will tell you what to avoid. So guys, I hope you like this, I hope it helps. Um, if you have any questions, comments, let me know. Please like and subscribe, because I'm trying to grow this YouTube channel so I can uh, give you guys more helpful content. All right, guys, I will catch you guys later.